All right, guys, I have a decent size Amazon haul on the side of me. There are two items I specifically needed for work. I go back to work next week. You guys don't watch this channel. I work at a school, so I had the summer off. And there's some stuff I need for the house. I am finally making the last few purchases I needed um, so I could finish up this house. I've been living in this house since December. It was two weeks before Christmas. It was a crazy time. So I didn't really get into unpacking until like mid-January. Um, and, you know, it just I had to budget for things. I couldn't buy everything at once. So anyway, and I still had a few boxes, but I used up my summer vacation and I everything's freshly unpacked. Um, all right, so let's just get right into it. Uh, Mango decided to come join us over here. He's literally on the box I wanted to open first. So maybe, maybe I'll save that one. <laughs> Look, let me flip the camera. There you go. They want to see you, Mango. They know how cute you are. All right, so I want it to be like a first impression. Because sometimes you order things from Amazon and you don't know what you're getting. Let's be honest. I have a, one of my first videos on this channel. If you want to go all the way back to two years ago. was one of the, It was the worst Amazon purchase I ever made. And it looked so different from the picture. So now I am always very careful and I read reviews and all that. All right, so what, two things on my list were pillow covers. If you guys have been watching, I have tons of... Uh, decor videos up right now of stuff I bought from Target and Dollar Tree and I have two hauls coming up too they should be up before this one of um, stuff I got at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. if you'll notice in those hauls there are no throw pillows and I love decorating with throw pillows I always have pillows behind me kind of messy at the moment but I don't buy seasonal throw pillows because they take up a lot of room to store for something that you're only going to have out for a month or two. So my trick is pillow covers. So do I have one of the pillows near me? No, of course not. Oh, yes, I do right here. So this pillow cover unzips and can be stored and takes up no room at all. And this is the pillow insert. So I changed these for the season. This is going to be kind of embarrassing, but I'll be honest, open and honest with you guys. The last one on here is happy easter these have been meaning to come off for a long time i don't have like a summer pillow cover set so i do have to buy that but now i'm just gonna wait because summer's basically over so two things i've been needing i have easter pillows and that's it literally i got those like right when we moved like i said we moved in um two weeks before christmas i didn't bother decorating for christmas i just did a tree and that was it uh so we started unpacking mid-january so in march i think i ordered those and i said okay i'll have easter pillows never got to order the summer pillows but i finally have my fall and halloween pillow covers and these are generally cheap uh the prices range you can get some for 12 dollars all the way to 20 dollars. i think mine were about 14.99 and the, as you can see, this is the only amount of room it's going to take to store. So it's perfect to change out your pillows for the season without having the commitment of all these pillows to store. So I bought a four pack because I have four of these. So this is the fall one. So I'll show it to you guys. This is the first one. It says farm fresh, open daily, pick your own pumpkins, hay rides, apples. And it's the classic truck with the pumpkins in the back. I thought that was so cute. And this one is just one big pumpkin and it's kind of like a bluish gray color which really goes well with my decor if you guys watch those videos you know i don't really do a lot of orange i do have some touches of orange but i actually mostly do like grays blues and greens for fall i love those jewel tone pumpkins and then the other two are a little different which i really liked in this set you, there's so many to pick from if you guys search on amazon and these are have a gray background, which I love since my couch is gray. And it says Happy Harvest. And I love that it's in cursive and in print. And it's like black and white. I love that. And this one says Hello Pumpkin. And I might not put all four on one couch. I usually, that's how I usually style it. But I am getting a big cozy chair for my entryway. That should be in next week so that entryway can finally be done. Because that is also going to have like a reading nook area. And I might put one of those on there. I also have a second couch you guys never see that's on the side of me. I'm going to do my room tours really soon. Um, I'm finishing up all the last minute decorating. But I might put some on there. We'll see. But I got plenty of spaces to put pillows. And these are the four I will have out for the month of October. So I finally have fall and Halloween pillow covers. And I have Easter. So now all on my list I got to get is Christmas and summer. And that's it. I will rotate those and use those every season for a long time i probably will eventually rebuy but i also don't want to have a million pillow covers either 
And this one I absolutely love. It says the Sanderson Sisters Black Flame Candle Company. You have Binksy the Cat and you have the two candles. Definitely screams Hocus Pocus vibes. This one was kind of like a little Hocus Pocus set. Because you have, it's a bunch of Hocus Pocus. But I love that it's black and white and it's not like orange or, you know, it's not screaming Halloween necessarily. Very neutral. And then these two are straight black pillows. So I love the contrast on these. And it says Sanderson Sisters Brewing Company Premium Witches Brew. And it has the little cauldron in the middle. How cute is that? Established in 1693. And then this one says Salem Broom Company. Finest quality enriched. Established again 1692. So I will try to remember to link these down below. If I do not link them and you are interested in any of them, please comment and I will definitely link it for you. So I thought that was not bad. It's way cheaper than buying throw pillows themselves. You guys know a throw pillow can go anywhere from $15 to $30. And that is like on the lower end. Of course, you can buy very expensive pillows from expensive stores. So with for the same $30, I got eight pillow covers. And you only have to buy the inserts one time, you know? And mine are 18 by 18 if you guys are curious so i would just type in full pillow covers 18 by 18 a halloween pillow covers 18 by 18. this was on super duper deal i have always wanted to try liquid iv i get the little sample packs a lot if you guys watch my unboxings it came in my walmart beauty box for winter and for spring i also got it in you got them in the, we got them in the last fab two fab fit fun boxes and i have been enjoying the flavor and i do really notice a difference um so it even says it is supposed to be more hydrating than regular water alone. It says 2 to 2.5 times. has 3 times the electrolytes, 5 essential vitamins. It has a great taste. I've been loving the flavors. Um, in the summer, I am prone to headaches because of the heat. And I went away this weekend for my birthday, and I had really bad headaches. Joe literally had to go buy a Tylenol Extra Strength at a convenience store for me. And then I packed some of these, and I put it in my water, and I know, and the headaches were, like, disappearing. So I was like, I really should invest and just buy a pack of these because I was kind of cheap and just going through my sample packs. So, because they're not cheap. These are 16 on-the-go packets. So there's not that many in here, you know? Um, and this was $16 on sale. That is a dollar a pack. That is pricey. But because I noticed a difference and I do really like the flavors and it was on sale, I decided to treat myself. I will be honest, when I am done with these, I don't know if it's something I'll be purchased. I might wait till it's on sale again because the, they think they were $8 off. So I want to say these are regularly like $25, which is crazy. I know people buy them at Walgreens and CVS with their with their rewards money and coupons and I don't really know how to get into all that. Maybe it's something I will look into just for this because I do really enjoy these. I don't know if the sale's still going on. If it is, maybe I'll just treat myself to one more pack. I will try to remember to link it down below. But um, if it's on sale, definitely pick these up. I got the strawberry flavor. Um, we've gotten so many different flavors. I've had the guava, the pina colada, the passion fruit. And honestly, I have loved them all. So that was... That was kind of like a a want, not a need. But the rest were all more kind of need, you know. Do you consider pillow covers a need? No, but I kind of do. <laughs> and then for work, I really wanted to get new lunch containers. So the ones I have are getting kind of dingy and old. And I thought I would treat myself to some really, really nice ones. And I have not been feeling sandwiches lately. I usually always have sandwiches in the summer because it's like a nice quick easy cool meal it's not a hot meal and i have not been feeling them at all deli i don't know i feel like your taste just changed i'm not into deli meats lately i'm also I haven't been into eggs lately i don't know so i definitely want to try to start packing different types of lunches i've even been looking up like just pinterest ideas and i see people who do like tomatoes and cucumbers and crackers and cheese and they make their lunch almost like a, an adult lunchable and i was like that sounds really cool i think i'm gonna do that so i decided to buy these bento boxes so it even says miss big is just for kids help these were advertised as kids but there was tons of reviews and so many adults were buying this and this is made out of wheat fiber materials this is not like plastic so it's like a nice recyclable material better for the environment um let me rip out the plastic so you guys can see but basically this container has sections so it is perfect for the style of lunch I am talking about. And it has latches, so it's leak proof. And it had amazing reviews and it was on sale when I got it. So I got treated myself to it. But as you can see, you take this off 
And then right here at the bottom, you have three different sections and a fork that sits in the middle. There is actually two indentations for the fork, fork to sit nicely. So, you know, like I said, I can put cheese, crackers, tomatoes, cucumbers. So I am going to try to start packing more of those style lunches because I have not, just not been feeling deli meats at all. And even I said to myself this summer, I said, damn, what am I going to do for lunches? Because if I'm not feeling deli meats, it's like, that's like my go-to lunch. So I bought both of them. I bought the large size and the medium size since they were on sale i'm not going to open this one at the moment it's literally the same exact thing you can see it has the three sections in the back it's just oh maybe this is actually the small size even though it's actually a little bigger no they're actually the same size but if you guys look at the side this is how you know look at the thinness of this one compared to this one this one actually from the reviews it actually does fit a sandwich so this big square here, people say if you cut your sandwich in half, it'll fit like the two triangles of the sandwich. So if I do want to do that, and then I have, I can put sides here. You know, I can put like carrots and chips or whatever. But if I want a sandwich option, I have it. Or if I just have like a meal that's, you know, needs more room, that's a little deeper. Um, I could do like salad here and the toppings on, on here. So I thought these were a really good investment since I'm heading back to work. I need to figure out something for my lunches. So I picked up these in my favorite color. And then I think that's, yeah, those were these two envelopes. So I'm on to the very last thing. And this is a storage need, an organization need. So I have a uh, um, shoe rack in my entryway that holds shoes. And then I said, it's going to be more of my everyday shoes I use all the time. But I have been trying to figure out a way to store shoes I don't use as often. I'm like, I could put them on the floor in my closet, but they're going to be really hard to get to because the clothes always cover it. I've never been someone who likes putting shoes the floor in my closet because I feel like I struggle to get to them. So I've always had like over the door shoe racks, but I have a vast hat collection and so does Joe. So I ended up buying over the door hat racks instead to store me and Joe's hat. So I said, I got to think of something else for shoes that I don't use every day that I don't need like in my entryway. And then I saw this, and I thought this was perfect. So let's rip off the plastic. And here it is right here. This was a two-pack, and it was like $25. It was regularly $30. I got everything while it was on sale. I always try to wait for sales. I just have things literally sit in my cart. I hit save for later, and then they will literally notify you, Amazon. At the top, it'll say like, oh, something in your cart has decreased or increased in price. And sometimes things do increase as well. So this is the two of them right here. As you can see, there's a little handle. <laughs> so these are perfect for under the bed i'm either going to put them under the bed or on the top shelf of my closet i haven't officially decided yet we'll see but it holds i think each one holds yeah 12 pairs of shoes they had one specifically too that held less i think it only held 10 but i had one big opening for boots uh but i did not get that one i'll probably just put the boots in the entryway on the shoe rack but there is the two of them right here and i like that it has a clear pocket so you can see inside and i like that um it's just an easy storage solution basically and it holds for 25 bucks and it holds 24 pairs of shoes that's a really really good price and it says the handles are extra strong it has a high quality zipper so it holds a lot of shoes for not that much space they're 32 by 25 by six if you guys are interested in them like i said i will try to remember to link in everything but if you don't see links just comment and i will definitely link them but that was everything so i got the two shoe racks i got the two food containers and the eight pillow covers and the liquid iv um so uh if you guys i know a lot of you had kids and your kids are going back to school definitely consider getting these them getting these for them i think these are really really cool i know i'm someone i don't really like my food touching my brother's like that too but he's worse than i am um so i like that i have those separations i really enjoy that and i feel like it's just going to be very neat and easy way to carry my lunch i'm really excited for the pillow covers on that note i will be having decorating videos i think this season i'm really looking forward to that so definitely consider subscribing for that and just so you can finally get oh get to see my apartment all come together um those should be out within the next few weeks because i thought it was gonna be posted in august but the truth is is now is when i'm off so now is when i'm doing the things and i've already been filming the entryway transformation i have day one and day two so i am filming right now and then i eventually have to edit and put it all together so they should be out sometime in september i'm hoping 
Um, so if any of that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. If you like the video, you like me, you like Amazon, give it a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell because I do hauls like this all the time. And I do unboxing from time to time. I, like I said, mentioned before, I get FabFitFun, I get Walmart Beauty. And you guys should be seeing like room tours and decorating, really, decorating videos soon, which I'm really excited about. I actually have a vlog coming out tomorrow while I'm filming this. I've really been trying to do different content for you guys, and I really hope you're enjoying it. If you are, let me know down below. I definitely see the support. I just hit 500, over 500 subscribers, and I finally have a community tab, which is super exciting. That was a big goal of mine, and I really appreciate all of you guys. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.